Computer vision is concerned with the automatic extraction and analysis of useful information from images. This technology being impressive in its own right, there's fundamental disruption here in terms of what it means in understanding risk, enabling operation. So we're living in a world where cars are beginning to drive themselves and the most profound liabilities and confirmation of recovery are being done by sensors that were never applied before. Here, imaging, we tie to fundamental risk. In terms of how this, all this works is the underlying technology that's enabling these fascinating applications is that of neural networks. To provide you some insight into how this work is working, we have an image that is projected onto simulated neurons, taking inputs of light, and the first level of processing is projected back. And it is in that area you see the first level of pattern detection. And that is what these technologies are fundamentally about. Next, you can see here edge detectors. If you rotate filters that are dark and light, sensitive to these elements, you can figure out edges. In the next layers, you have not individual people's features, but you have prototypical ones. What that means is the network is learning what an eye looks like. Going up a level, you have prototypical faces, and this is all encoded in this network. Now, eventually, it gets propagated up to an actual entity or a decision to be made. What has been done in the laboratory is now brought into industry because we have advances in computational power. Pragmatic associated challenges for implementing these advanced technologies. The first one is regarding data silos. In terms of access to data, something as uh, uh, seemingly innocent as social media data. Uh, can that be brought into the existing operation? What are the regulatory implications? Another major challenge is the talent gap. So you need the domain, you need the engineering, and you need uh, that process excellence geared with the data science. Getting all the skills together is an absolutely major challenge. The third challenge is simply uh, courage. These applications will become, in some variant, the dominant way to do business operation. The question is, who has the courage to attempt them, to operationalize them, and lead the industry? As I described, you need some way to put on modern algorithms bound with affordable compute power to actually extract core aspects of that data specific to the use case. So it's highly collaborative, and uh, it is a binding of the use case of domain, data, and discovery. And the winners are gonna be those that figure out these use cases first.